Look, I've done it once again. I've uh, wasted some money. I've bought something from Facebook. Look, it looks good, but it ain't quite what it should be. For more information about this, for more videos like this, for more reviews of cars, tech and lifestyle, click subscribe, hit the bell. We'll get you all the stuff you need here on the YouTube channel for EFTM. So look, if you're into cars, if you're into motorsport, you might've seen this on Facebook. I've seen the ads for these rugs for a year or more. Um, they look so good in the, in the ads. And frankly, I think it probably looks good in this video. Um, it actually does add some seriously nice style to a place where you're trying to create a, a vibe, uh, in this case around motorsport. Every single track you could think of is available globally, not really your Aussie tracks, but Albert Park's the, the only Aussie one I could find. And I, I reckon I paid 150 bucks for this, which is not awful. And this is the largest size you can get. But from a wide shot, looks all right. Close up, it's, it's just, it's barely a towel. It's nowhere near as thick as the rug I had here before. Um, it's made of this really simple soft material here, um, which I can't imagine is gonna last a long time. <laughs> That's my main problem. Um, so this is the material, um, it's, it's not really soft. But I think my biggest challenge with this is not that it doesn't look great, because I, I do think it looks good. I, I like the look that I've created here, but I can't leave it here because I'm noticing already, and I've only had it out for a day, I'm noticing already that essentially, I think it'll rub off. So what this is, is a printed rug. So they've got this material, so you can see here, so this is the backing, and that's what the front would have looked like, white. Um, and what they've done is they've used a large format printer and they've printed this on. And actually you can tell that when you come up close to it, it's quite a low resolution image. You know, if you've ever taken a small image and, and made it bigger in, in Windows Paint or in Photoshop, you, you expand the size, you get that really jaggedy edge, um, very jpeg -y style, um, no, no clarity around the edges. The wording here looks good from a distance, but up close, you can tell it's it's not high resolution. Is that a problem? Not, not, not really in the broader sense of things, but because it's 3D printed, I can kind of see where it, look at that, that's literally coming off there. Like that print, that's coming off. That, that there, I'm almost seeing the white through. So like there's no way this thing is going to last. Um, and I think that's really important. It's totally fine. In fact, these would probably look better hanging on a wall than anywhere else. But broadly, it's just another rubbish product that you buy on Facebook. Um, it's just another great example of buying from traditional retailers and not trusting a Facebook ad. Um, I don't mind the look, we'll probably keep it out. I'll probably keep it here, um, just rolled up or folded up in the case because that's how it came, folded up. Um, just for if I need photos or videos that need to look man cavey. But I think I'll go back to the traditional rug because what I need is a is a rug here, not something that's gonna lose its color. Um, so yeah, disappointing. But hey, that's the game we play, buying on Facebook.